Hi everyone, you all right? Welcome to Nick's Back Kitchen. It's a busy weekend this weekend. It's Ian's birthday, so I need to make him some treats. First, I'm gonna make him um, a meringue. He loves a meringue, but I'm gonna make pear, walnut and chocolate meringue. Something a bit different. It's really nice, very grown up. So I'll make that for him. Um, and I might make some jammy dodger cupcakes. If I've got time, I'll put them on later. Um, but I'm going to get everything out because I need to get this meringue cooked and cooled before I can get any topping on. Now you need seven egg whites and you need a very clean bowl. So even though your bowl's clean, give it a rinse out again because if there's the tiniest bit of grease on the inside, your whites won't whip up. So I'll show you how to split your egg white just in case you don't know. I mean, you probably do. I'll just show you one. So crack your egg. You can't get any egg yolk in your egg white. You can't mix them. So just crack your egg over your bowl. Just half it. And put the egg into your hand. And the egg white will just slip through your fingers and you're left with the yolk in your hand. Keep your yolks, but put them in a separate bowl and you can make them a luxury quiche with those. Do seven. There's your egg whites. Now get them whisked up. So it's starting to get peaky now, see? Now we're gonna gradually add 350 grams of caster sugar. Gradually. Now can you see it's starting to get glossy? Pop in two teaspoons of corn flour, and a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Whisk it in. There, look how lovely and glossy that is. I've poured it onto a plate and put a little well in the middle. I'll just try and talk over the washing machine, but that goes in a 120 oven for an hour. Low and slow is the key to a good meringue. The corn flour will make the inside all marshmallowy and unctuous and just gorgeous. Whatever you do, do not do not put vinegar in your meringue. I don't know if it's an old wives tale or a myth, but it does nothing, it adds nothing. Don't put vinegar in your meringue. Even if you've been doing it for years, try not doing it, because all it does is make your meringue taste of vinegar. I've done it, I used to put vinegar in, and I used to think, this tastes of vinegar. Don't put vinegar in your meringue, you don't need to. The corn flour thickens it all up, makes it all marshmallowy. You don't need the vinegar. So that's my rant over about vinegar. So I'm gonna go and do what I need to do. I've got an hour while that cooks low and slow. So it's ready. Turn the oven off and just leave it there to cool. Now let's get on with the filling. We're gonna whip some double cream. The cream's nicely whipped. Now I'm gonna, I've got two tins of pears, halves, pear halves. I'm not sure if I'll need one tin or two, maybe one will be enough, but I'm gonna chop some of the pears and mix them into the cream and I want to slice some nice for decoration on the top. I've only used one tin, so I've sliced three halves and chopped the rest into the cream. I'm just stirring it through. Pour your cream mixture into the middle. Why are you just standing still and quiet? We all know you're there, we can, we can see you. I don't want to see you something. Doesn't like being on the telly. Now just put your slices of pear over the top. So I've got about 12 hazelnuts and we're gonna crush them. And the easiest way to do that is just sit a cup on top of them and they'll break. find a bag of hazelnuts so I just bought just a little punnet it was only a pound but because you only need 12 that's fine sprinkle them over the top obviously if you don't want to put nuts on you don't have to now melt some chocolate and sprinkle that over the top I've gone for dark Bourneville 
you use milk if you want use what you like you're not going to need much just enough for a drizzle over the top and then just drizzle it over the top that's the lawnmower Ian's cutting the grass now I mean look at that folk that have been following me for a while and know as you know how much I'm looking forward to eating that don't you because I really 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 am but Ian has to have a bit first because it's for his birthday so I won't I won't have the first bit I'll let him get the first bit and then then I can have some because we all know how well pears and chocolate sauce go together and hazelnuts and chocolate mixed with cream mixed with pavlova I can't wait Let's have a piece. That's a good crunch. Just look at the marshmallow inside this meringue. Look at that. Let's have a try. Mm. Pears and dark chocolate are gorgeous. Whatever you're doing this weekend, have a fabulous time. Have a go at making this, it's gorgeous. Beautiful, give it a go. Let us see your pictures and if you've got any new ideas, let us know. Let us like share them. It's good to share. So have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.